us to another episode on SUG12 exams. So in this episode, we are looking at section C of the 2021 Internal Science Paper 2. So in section C, you are expected to answer two questions out of uh, three questions, and each question carries 10 marks. Let us look at question C1. In the periodic table, elements are arranged in vertical columns called groups. Question A. Potassium and sodium are both found in group 1 of the periodic table. Loman numeral 1 give the electronic configurations of both elements. So what we do is let us go to the periodic table. What we notice here is we have a sodium and potassium. So what we are required is to give the electronic configuration as in per question. So what we do is we have a loma numeral 1. So what we know is basically a sodium 23 mass number then we have 11 uh, atomic number. So the electronic configuration will be basically the first shell will have 2 as per standard then the second one will have 8 so we have 2 plus 8 which is 10 then 10 from 11 is a 1 so the last shell has 1 electron then we look at potassium so potassium as we found from the periodic table this is a 39 then we have atomic number 19 so the electronic configuration will start with uh, the first shell 2 then the second is uh, 8 so 2 plus 8 is basically 10 10 is still less than 19 so 19 minus 10 is basically 9 so 9 minus 8 again will remain with 1 so what you notice here in this case this will be uh, the electronic configuration we move to a loma numeral 2 which element would react more vigorously with water than the other explain your answer so this is loma numeral 2 so basically the answer would be potassium why potassium so the reason why potassium is because uh, the activity of group 1 elements increases down the group with uh, basically uh, francium, this one, the bottom one, being the most reactive metal. So, because the activity of group 1 elements increases down the group so what you notice in this case a potassium is lower of um, sodium so as the number of shells increases the activity increases also so potassium has got four shells we move to a uh, loma numeral three write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction of sodium with water include state symbols okay so we are looking for a balanced chemical equation then uh, what is key is we include state symbols so what we do is basically loma numeral three so sodium is basically a solid because it's a metal then we react it with a basically water which is liquid water is liquid then sodium would displace one hydrogen from water so we are going to end up with one hydrogen and oxygen which is known as hydroxide so you see sodium hydroxide remember this is a group one 
element and the, the hydroxide has got this negative 1 then a sodium has got positive 1 so sodium will donate this one so that we end up with this so this one is going to be a quasi solution then plus a hydrogen which is a gas so now we are asked to light a balanced so now we need to balance this equation so we have three hydrogens one plus two this side but this side we have two so what we need to do is we need to balance them how can we balance them we can introduce a two here so that we have four this side then introduce a two here then we're going to have four hydrogen four hydrogen then oxygen we're going to have two this side and also two this side so you see a balanced but we have two sodium but one sodium here so what you do is also introduce it to here so that it becomes balanced so this is how you answer this uh, question we move to B in group 7 there are five elements Loman numero 1 how many electrons do these elements have in their outermost shell so basically the group tells us the number of electrons in the outermost shell so in this case all of these they have 70 electrons so 70 electrons so just to demonstrate we go to the periodic table we do one electronic configuration this is group uh, seven we have fluorine which has basically nine so the first for this one the first will be two the first shell then the second one to be nine minus two which is seven chlorine has 17 so it is going to have two then eight which is 10 17 minus 10 is seven uh, similarly will be the case so all these they have seven these they have four these they have five so four five then six then one two then this is three then our transitional elements of got variable valence which is valence is the number of electrons in the outermost shell okay so we go to loma numero two how do the atoms of group seven elements react with the atoms of metals so this is loma numero two so this is b loma numero one this is seven electrons we've already answered this then we go to loma numero two so loma numero two we are trying to find how do atoms of group uh, 7 react with atoms of metals so basically how they react are they form ionic compounds with metals so basically they form ionic compounds with metals so that's how they react so for by forming ionic compounds we go to a uh, loman numero three which of the group seven elements is the most reactive explain your answer so we are looking for the most reactive so the activity of allergens which are group 7 elements so these group 7 elements are known as allergens so it decreases down the group so as you move down the group of the group 7 elements as you move down the group here their reactivity decreases so this implies that the most reactive a group seven element or allergen is basically fluorine 
So fluorine is the most reactive element in group 7 and it is also the most reactive non metal element. You move down here the activity decreases, decreases. So you move upward increases. So if we were to answer the question that we are being asked in this case, the most reactive in this case is fluorine which we have already answered. So fluorine is the most reactive element in group 7 and it is also the most reactive non-metal element. So basically this is how you answer uh, this question to get the 10 marks.